Well, hello everyone. Good evening. Thank you for coming out tonight. We are so, so excited to see so many of you here tonight. My name is Christian Fotu. Uh, I'm a violinist. Uh, I play in the New West Symphony Orchestra as well. And here on the stage, I'm joined by Sarah Kimoncello and Victoria Fatu on the piano. Uh, as you can see, uh, or maybe as you can hear from, uh, from my accent, uh, I was not born here. I'm originally from Romania. And uh, here on the stage, we have a truly international uh, lineup. And uh, I guess we'll all introduce each other. And uh, I'm going to pass the microphone to Sarah now. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for coming out. This is such such a special occasion for us, especially, I mean, I haven't played a in live concert with, a, with an audience for over a year now. So this is just, we're so excited to play. As you can also tell from my accent, I was not born here either. <laughs> I'm from Australia, Melbourne, Australia, and uh, I've been here for about two years. I was in Germany for about eight years before that. Um, but yeah, we're so excited to, to be here and be playing with you guys. Oh, um, I would also like to introduce my cello here. His name is Giovanni. <laughs> Named after the, the man who made him, Giovanni Grancino. He turned 315 this year. We'll see how he's uh, gonna acclimatize to this, this cold. But uh, you know, after eight years in Germany, we're hopefully used to that by now. <laughs> and on to Victoria. Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Fatu and I am from Russia, from a little with accents here. Uh, and uh, it's so incredibly exciting to finally play for the live audience and not having to tell everybody to mute themselves. So it's just <laughs> awesome. So we hope we enjoy this, you enjoy this concert and have a wonderful evening. So um, the first piece we are going to start with, actually the first two pieces we'll uh, start with tonight, it's getting a little bit chilly, so I think the music should warm us up. So we're gonna go to Argentina. We're gonna play the Estaciones Porteñas, or the four seasons of Buenos Aires. We're gonna play two of these seasons, the spring and summer, uh, written by Astor Piazzolla. Um, in a way, they are Piazzolla's take on uh, the Vivaldi's uh, famous four seasons. Um, so uh, we're going to start with spring.
I love to be a musician. I love my work and I feel so extraordinarily lucky to be here tonight and, and to play for a live audience, to play for you. Uh, the next piece is also by Piazzolla uh, from the Four Seasons of Buenos Aires and it's called Summer.
Okay, so uh, now we're gonna change the key. We're gonna move to a different time, different place. Um, definitely different music. Uh, the next piece is from a string trio by the Russian composer Dmitry Shostakovich. Perhaps one of the greatest Russian composer uh, that uh, lived in a very turbulent century and he experienced the, the beginning of, of communism in Russia, the horrors of the Second World War, and the persecution of the Stalinist regime. Um, the inspiration for, his, for this second piano trio comes from a place of grief, a weeping call, a rushed memory of what has passed and is gone. Uh, you will hear in this fourth movement the, uh, some memories of, of war, a tragedy that had a deep impact on the composer and we can all experience those feelings through through this music. So Dmitry Shostakovich, second piano trio, Allegretto. Also, I wanted to say our instruments are protesting a little bit because of the of the cold, so uh, we'll we'll might need to tune them in between. And also about this uh, this piece we're about to play, it has a lot of uh, sound effects, sound effects of of gunshots, sound effects of of bombs, and other are the sounds you would hear in a place of war. So look out for that. put me on the spot here. Um, just a little backstory about what he was writing about in this particular movement. It's quite a horrific image, if you can imagine. So um, the moment when Germans would lead the Jewish captives to the edge of the big ditch and uh, make them dance, demand for them to dance at the gunpoint. And, uh, they would dance and they would have them dance faster and faster up until they get shot and fall into the ditch. So uh, at some point you're going to hear the sound effects from my fellow musicians here that imitate the sound of the human bones, which is not fun, but quite, quite powerful. So.
So uh, we're going to switch gears now and uh, we'll play for you a piece written just for violin and cello. Uh, it's uh, Passacaglia. Um, the, it's, it's arranged by the Norwegian composer Johan Halvorsen. He was a conductor and he uh, composed and arranged uh, many pieces for his orchestra. And uh, he took inspiration for this piece from a harpsichord uh, suite uh, by uh, uh, Handel. And uh, it's basically uh, a series of variation, a passacaglia, it's, it's a series of variations with uh, accompanied ba bass. And between the violin and cello, we'll be trading the, the melody and the accompaniment, uh, you know, at, at times. Thank you. 
conclude the first portion of the program with the piano trio and string duo and uh, next we are going to play for you uh, pieces for violin and, uh, and piano Yes. So the the next piece uh, it's coming again from uh, from Russia, from uh, one of my all-time favorite composers, uh, Piotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. It is a, it is an actual uh, concert master uh, solo from the ballet Swan Lake, uh, and it's called a Russian Dance.
uh, next piece uh, you're gonna recognize it is is it became one of the of the standards in jazz uh, it's uh, by George Gershwin, uh, Porky and Bass, an arrangement for violin and piano. And uh, this is a story about two lovers that should not be together, but for some reason they end up being together. So Gershwin wrote the, the whole the whole suite, uh, well, the whole work about, uh, about this. Uh, so Porky and Bess, uh, George Gershwin.
thank you. Um, I, I must admit this is probably one of the most technically challenging piece I've ever played on the violin. Uh, it's the first time I played for a live audience ever. So uh, um, I was I was a bit nervous of, of some spots, you know, with, uh, with with memory. And equally for piano, as you can see, is is you know even more challenging than than on the fiddle, I would say. And I think Victoria killed it over there. So next we're gonna we're gonna go to to a different style of music. We're gonna play a klezmer piece. I love to play klezmer piece. This piece comes from Hungary, uh, written by uh, the composer Bela Kovac. It's called uh, Sholem Alehem Rof Feidman, and um, it's um, it's one of my favorite pieces. So um, enjoy.
Next we're gonna go to Spain and we're gonna play uh, a dance uh, written by the Spanish virtuoso Pablo de Sarasate, Zapateado. close to the end of uh, tonight's program. Uh, we have two more pieces for you. Uh, the next piece um, comes originally from Romania, my country of birth, but it was arranged by the great Yasha Heifetz. Uh, it is said that uh, Grigoraj Diniku, who was a famous uh, gypsy Romanian violinist, and he had his taraf, his band, uh, in the 30s, uh, he was playing in New York at some radio station. And uh, Yasha Heifetz happened to, to be there and to hear him on, on the radio. And then he went to the radio station and, and the story goes that he met with Diniku. And they played for each other and Diniku played for him and he was so inspired uh, by this tune, by this uh, hora, 
It's called Horas Takato. And uh, what's so special about this piece is that we have this, uh, this bow stroke where you have many, many uh, notes uh, on one bow and uh, they go very fast and uh, uh, it's one of the more challenging uh, techniques uh, in our arsenal as, you know, as violinists. And uh, so, um, Grigoraj Diniku Yasha Haifetz, Horas Takato. Romania until I was 23 years old uh, and then I came to United States for graduate studies and up until age 23 I've never played folk music uh, especially Romanian folk music you know it would be the music that my dad or my you know my uncles would listen on the radio or at some party but you know I would never play that but then I came here in the United States and uh, uh, at some point you know I got really homesick and I was missing my parents I was missing my friends and um, you know the places where I grew up, and uh, I found I found some comfort playing uh, Romanian tunes, Romanian folk tunes, and um, I know here tonight uh, there are some of our, my Romanian friends, so I dedicate this piece to them. Uh, it's uh, Doina and Chokerlia.